My YouTube crew, what it do, man? It's your boy T Jones, man. And I'm back with another video, man. And in today's video, man, I got a practice style version of breakdown of the snuds flip, man. The formation I've been telling y'all about. The formation y'all been seeing in my videos a lot. And today I'm gonna be breaking it down in practice mode for you, man. And then towards the end of the video, I'm gonna add some clips towards the end of the video so you can see that this offense actually does work well in game but before we get into the video man make sure you hit that like button hit that subscribe button turn on your notifications man so you always know if we go live or when the videos are coming out man it really does help the channel a lot and i really appreciate that for y'all man forgive me i'm just trying to run through this video real quick before my wife come back because i probably won't have time to make it once they come back so yeah like I said, about this formation, man, you can find it in Raiders and Patriots, I, I believe. It's called tight slots. But when I, look, I, when I went and looked for it in the custom playbook section, I didn't see a regular tight slots. I seen tight slots have back week and a couple of other ones, but I didn't see just tight slots. So I did some research on it, and I, I found the formation. When you go looking for it inside of... The custom playbook engine is not going to be called tight slots. You want to look for snugs flip. As you see it right there on the screen, that's the name of the formation. So some of these plays you might not find in the Raiders the Patriots playbook. But if you want them, I just add them to my custom playbook, and that's how I'm able to basically to that's how I've been using the the the, the, the formation and put it inside my playbook and all that, man. And uh. There's these these couple of plays that I'm gonna show you you can find in Raiders playbook and Patriots playbook, so that's what I'm gonna show it to you. And the main plays I usually when you I don't know if they have the same name, but you could you could just look at it and you can you can, you can know what that play. It's called PA Flood Shot. This one is in there as well. I use that this is what I use in the red zone. And these this is right here. Um but you're not going to get the two runner plays I use, I believe. I don't believe it's in that playbook, but um, it's uh, the halfback base and the inside zone. I believe the Raiders and Patriots just have draw, if I'm not mistaken. So you might want to go just add it into your custom playbook, man. And this formation is very, very good, man. It could be zone. It could be man. It has deep shots, it has baby dots, it has everything you need to succeed in the offense. And you can also just just take it to the lab, man, and play around with it um, to your liking. I'm just going to do a random defense, man. And we're going to um, respot the ball so we can get, get back a little bit, man. So um, you, really, you really don't need a... Uh, quarterback with abilities to run his offense. You can really offer that's the good thing about this offense. You can really run this offense with any kind of quarterback. It doesn't have to be those quarterbacks with the accelerated throwing velocity. You can really just run this with any type of quarterback, man. And usually, first I, I come out in inside zone or, or base, and I try to see, you know, what formation they come out in, but um. Yeah, man, I'm going to show you, as a matter of fact, let me show you how good the inside zone and base is as well. My favorite runner play, and he got a sweep in as well. This is, I'm telling you, if you go add it to your custom playbook, man, you, you're, you'll reap the benefits way more, I'm telling you, man. Because this inside zone and quick base is very good, man. All you're doing is watch the center and the left guard, and you just want to get in behind those guys, and, and you'll, you'll get yards every time. You got cutback lanes, you can see every single time. You know we're in practice mode, so they're going to act a little different. But, yeah, you could, it's, it's going to be cutback lanes. And uh, I'm just showing you the cutback lanes. If you got good vision, man, don't use the turbo button. You're going gonna, you, you get, to you get good yards out of this inside zone every single time, man. So that's what I wanted to show you all about that. You get good yards out of this inside zone. You get five a pop every single time, man. So we're not going to study long on the inside zone. Now I'm just going to go show y'all the quick base. The base, I mean. Yeah, the quick base. That's really good, too, because they had a pulling guard. 
And uh, you know, you use the quick base, boom. Get good yards out of that every single time. Sometimes you can score, take it to the house, man. This formation, I'm telling you, man, it's very, very good. It's very, very good. You can bounce it to the outside. So I'm not going to waste time on that. What I really came to show y'all was the two plays I mainly like to use with the PA fake shot and the um, D plays are very good, man. So, if we run up against the cover four, like this is like a cover four look. Um, only adjustment I really use is you can you can do whatever you want with these, with, with circle and X. You can do whatever you want, but you really want to leave square and triangle the same. You can do whatever you want with circle and X. You can put them on the street. You can put them on the Z. Put X on the drag. Put X on the slant. You can do whatever you want with circle and X. The main two routes you're going to keep on this plate for your deep shot and your crosser is triangle and square, man. You can do whatever you want. If I see a couple four looks sometime, I, I come out and I just put them in a flat route. That flat route is going to do a good job of, of pulling that purple down and a couple four, boom. So you pull it down and it's going to leave your drag wide open. That's two or three bad ball. But that circle does a good job. This look like another cover four look. And I put them on the drag. Boom. Boom. Throw a good ball to her. Boom. Leave your crosser wide open. Um, but if I see a look, I'm trying to get a look while I bring that safety down. So Sometimes I just put them on the zig, or you can put them on the out route. It's your choice, man. You can do whatever you want with circle and X, bro. But you mainly looking for a triangle and square. Square will do a good job sometimes. Or you can just put them on double, a double street and hopefully circle pulls over that cover. That like a cover three. Boom. Here's your deep shot. I had a deep shot right there. You see Tyreek running wide open one on one right now against cover three. But it depends on which way. Was that where it's safe to go? You want to hit the other side. If he, if he if he draws towards the little fade, you want to throw it the square. I mean the circle. Puts a faster receiver. Look, Tyreek got past that. You know what I'm saying? One on one. Well, the safety came over, but. Just take it to the take this formation to the lab and lab it up, man. I promise you'll have good success. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of hard because you can't predict what they're gonna do in practice mode. Okay, this is like a cover three. You can just put a zig out there. Boom. I meant to put um. Your cross will be cover three as well. Like I said, you just gotta take this formation to the lab, lab it up, man. I promise you, you'll have good success. I've been running this offense every day, man. And since I started running it, man, I've been winning at least five more games than I was winning, man. This formation is awesome. Take it to the lab, lab it up. Like I said, you can do whatever you want with Circle and X. The two main routes you're going to need is the fade, that, that crazy looking fade route, because it's going to get over the top a lot. And the crosser, in case they play a cover three like this. Cover three like this. You barely want to look for the crosser, but put a pull up out. Look, the crosser gonna be wide open. I'm planning against the Dolphins defense, so it's gonna be a little tougher, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, like now let's take these down. Boom, put a zig, put a drag, and watch Tyreek go to all oh, these block sets in practice mode are crazy, bro. That's why it's kind of hard. I need to be using two controllers where I can just put them in spies. I see cover three look. Sometimes I just put a double streak. Put X on the Z. I said you can do what you want. Look, you're covering that. The circle is running wide open down there for the street. You can look and see it, but the practice mode and, and block sheds are crazy. Plus the Dolphins offensive of line is one of the worst. I should have showed y'all with a better team, but the Dolphins the Dolphins are my team. So I tried to show you. Trying to show you. Boom. Touchdown. See what I'm saying? You got deep shots. You got all that good stuff, man. So I just wanted to bring y'all this video real quick. I'm going to attach some clips to the end of this video so you can see that the offense is for real, man. Forgive me for the noise in the background. That is my wife fussing at the kids. 
But take this to the mold. Lab it up, man. Learn the offense, man. Learn how you like to run it. It has great passing plays, great running plays, glitch deep shots, crosses. It's all kind of offense. It's just part one of the breakdown. I'm going to bring y'all part two of the plays y'all can use in the red zone. All that good stuff. I'm going to teach you how to use this offense for the rest of Madden 23. And I believe this offense is also going to be good in Madden 24 as well, guys. So, I might not know the, the, the most, but I know a little bit. I, I know how the game works. I know a little something, man. And I will never tell you nothing wrong, man. So, go ahead. Take this offense to the lab. Lab it up, man. Watch the clips at the end of the game if you don't believe me, man. Don't believe me. Just watch, man. This is your boy T. Jones. Hit the like. Hit the sub, man. And I appreciate Thank you.